Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Gross. I have been gardening for years, and it wasn't until I started growing blueberry plants that I noticed this showing up on my mulch. I was definitely concerned at first, and I'll be honest, I started blaming my dog Rose, or some sort of small rodent, thinking they were puking on my stuff. It shouldn't be a surprise, but this is called dog vomit slime mold or scrambled egg slime mold. And I gotta be honest, that's exactly what it looks like. This is more puffy than what I've seen it. When I've seen it out here, which isn't often, it's like in a regular shape pattern, literally like somebody vomited. The scientific name for this is Fuligo septica, and apparently it's not even really a mold. It's more like an amoeba. At least it has more characteristics of an amoeba than a mold. My biggest concern here, and probably most people's concern, is if you see this in the garden, is it harmful? The answer is no. It's not harmful to humans, animals, or plants. It's not a disease. In fact, I'd say it's just more of a nuisance and it's unsightly. Scientists are thinking that it could have properties that could be beneficial in antibiotics as well as for fighting cancer. So I think that's pretty cool. So your biggest concern is how to get rid of it. I just pick it up and I put it in a plastic bag and I chuck it. Some people believe that raking it helps because it helps to allow air to flow through and dry out the spores. But in the end, those spores are just gonna get blown away by the wind and they're gonna start doing their thing somewhere else. So I don't know if that's the best idea. One of the main reasons these grow, it's due to excess moisture. So some people have suggested, well, why don't you just put more water on it? It grows because of moisture and I wanna put more water on it. I don't know if that's the best idea either. So like I said, I physically pick it up and I remove it. And it doesn't mean that it will never grow again. I mean, it does grow on my mulch, but this method I think has been the best. It's not something that you can just mitigate. Don't go spending all kinds of money replacing your mulch, ripping things up, trying to get rid of this. I mean, it's nearly impossible. You can just do the best that you can. But I wanna show you the consistency of this. Look at this. Yuck, yuck, yuck. 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 Okay, but this is what I do. I get this off all my stuff. I, I get a little pile of mulch here. I get this off of all my stuff. And then I put it up. So this isn't harmful, but some people can be allergic to this. This could actually be an allergen, especially if you have asthma or some other lung condition. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Gross. So this is what I do. I get it off everything. Then I take it, literally, I physically remove it. I put it in a plastic bag and I chuck it. Hopefully that was helpful. I always think those slime molds are kind of cool. But if you see them, like I said, in your garden, don't freak out. It's not a big deal. Just do what I had mentioned and you'll be fine. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and happy gardening. Bye-bye.